Welcome everyone to another edition of Colonel's Corner. Joining me today for our women's soccer preview show is head coach John McNichol. Coach, thank you for taking the time. Thanks for having me. So how excited are you to get the season underway? You're first in the Landmark Conference. Sure, we're, we're really excited. It's been a really fun week with our team. It's great. You know, after the summer, it's a little bit slow. You get everyone back. Uh, you can tell our young women have done a fantastic job over the summer preparing themselves, getting themselves ready for the next two months. And it's been a really enjoyable week so far. We can't wait to build on it, continue to improve each day. And see what their next two months have in store for us. Speaking of that preparation, you had a preseason scrimmage against Lebanon Valley College last week. What were your takeaways from that? Sure, I thought it was a great night for both teams. You know, really excited. Any chance you get to play a quality squad like Lebanon Valley, they're going to really test you, make you make sure that your tactical understanding, your rotations are there. I thought they did a really nice job. Um, overall, we were really happy with how the night went. I think it showed us some areas that we need to improve, continue to communicate and get better at, but at the same time, you know, we were able to score a few goals and, and get some confidence going forward. So it was a really good night, uh, stayed relatively healthy, so we're in a really good spot right now. And it was you know, a really good night for both teams, and we're really thankful that you, know, you get the chance to play a team like Lebanon Valley who gets it. They understand what's going on at this point in the year, and it was just a really good night for both teams. Now, looking at the roster, who are some returning players that you think are going to be leaders for this team on and off the field? Sure, it's an ex it's exciting time for us, you know, as you kind of alluded to with the landmark. So it's it's new for everybody this year, and I think when we look at our returning players, you know, it's an expectation that all of them, whether you have an official title or not, are taking on those leadership roles. And I think this week. All of our upperclassmen have done a fantastic job of making themselves available to our first-year players. Even our second-year players are just getting into this for the second year. Again, they're going through change again after being the change from their, fresh, their first year. So, you know, it's one of those things where all of our, our women have just been fantastic all week. We're really excited about, um, you know, the future of our program, and it's due to their hard work and the way that they've been in terms of their inclusivity and, and willingness to help and support one another throughout the week. And speaking of the future of the program, what are your expectations for first-year players this season? Yeah, we just want them to, to kind of get their feet wet and have fun. I think the biggest thing with freshmen is just trying to get them on that level quickly and get them used to the speed of play, used to our terminology, how we want them to play, especially from the defensive th side of things with how we want to do things might be different than how they've been coached. And I think our upperclassmen have done a great job when we're at training, you know, pulling them aside, hey, change your body shape a little bit, do this, do that. Um, and, it's, and it's been done really well. So for them, I thought they had a really, really good debut the other night, all five of them against uh, Lev Val. I thought they, they kind of played a little bit beyond their years and we're excited to see their potential and continued growth throughout the season. Now, this Friday, you open the season against Penn State Burke's non-conference to open the year. Talk a little bit about the non-conference schedule and how that's going to prepare you come landmark time. Sure. Penn State Burke's is a great team. They've been in the NCAA tournament, I think, got at this point, 10 or 11 of the last 12 years or 10 of the last 11 years. They're, they're a very good team. You know, we, including them, we played three teams that were in the NCAA tournament last year non-conference, so it's important for us to test ourselves. I truly believe the Landmark is one of the top conferences in the, in the country. So we've got a really talented group of teams that we're, we're going to get an opportunity to compete against here the first couple weeks of the season leading into our Landmark opener uh, against Susquehanna. And speaking of the Landmark, are there any games in particular you've got circled? Talk about the Landmark conference schedule. Sure. Top to bottom, ton of quality. Um, some fantastic teams. Um, you know, Scranton has had some, some really good teams, Susquehanna, Catholic, E-Town. You could talk a little bit about each team in the conference. Uh, there's not one day that's going to be a day you can just show up and say, hey, I think we're going to get three points today. You know, top to bottom, one through ten, including us. It's all going to be great soccer. There's going to be a lot of parity in the conference. I'm really excited about, you know, the opportunity to compete with some of the best teams in the country. And we're excited as well. Coach, thank you so much for taking the time, and best of luck on the season. Absolutely. Thanks for having me.